problems with the op they it, there were two camps right it was like the there were problems with jet there were problems with with the op and i think that uh just the, the, the change to the op alone has you know impacted jet but furthermore you also have that change to blade storm because blade storm is really strong uh, but in any case, so the round begins and yet a very deep smoke is going to prompt Mo to push up here immediately gets tagged up and it's going to have to hightail it out of there. Mo though cleaned up by Huskers and as Shazam looks to bail out of his own fight, he's actually going to meet the barrel of Tim's ghost and this is going to be clean for them on C. Opportunity now to push in here, but Jake is going to get stopped right in his tracks. Last player left alive. It's going to be the Reyna. It's Greek. Perhaps Greek can get himself two kills here would be uh, kind of a nice consolation prize. This is not looking good. Nope, Wardell's going to clean that one up. Oh, okay. A little too many. Uh, a little too many. <laughs> I should say we saw too many one and dones there. Uh, in the site alone, thinking there were only a few people there, but really you're getting swamped by five each time. So that's why we saw strikers going down one after the other. It happens it's things you can clean up real easy spikes gonna be left for now that's wardell's duty you go ahead and he'll grab that Ooh. Yeah. that pistol is sick though i don't it is nice that. it is nice it reminds me of like ooh, nice shot from mo uh connecting on the huskers it just reminds me of those old school 60s sci-fi oh, yeah. shows you know i i used to love watching yeah, yeah. those as a kid Flash Danger, Gordon, Will Robinson. You Danger. Know, stuff like that. Um, it reminds me a little bit of the... Ooh, they can hear that. Moe's like, hey, Brim's here. Um, it reminds me of the new Vegas pistol that, like, fires an ultimate atomic yeah, laser. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you ever found that secret pistol in the game talking to the kid, you shouldn't have that gun, by the way. Shazam with the classic, as always, puts a little cheese on Wardell, but he will find himself down, and Mo gets a four. You mentioned it before, Golden Boy. Mo is stepping up here throughout the tournament, and now has that four for himself already. Yeah, Mo, Mo's trying to, he's trying to, with this tournament, get into Radiant. Yeah, if he doesn't get Radiant in the second act, he'll get yeah. it here. He has to now. In our hearts. Exactly. He's not an official one, obviously. You gotta play, you gotta play <laughs> rated for that. But, you know, this is the effort that counts. Absolutely, absolutely. All right. Well, now let's see if we have any changeups on the defense. It's still gonna be Huskers solo holding on C. I would like to see them maybe bring Huskers a little bit more aggro, take space in front of garage mm -hmm. doors, right? Like really put pressure on them because they're doing this hit every single time, and and Huskers is getting caught by himself. Does manage to get one kill, but Wardell's going to make quick work of him with the Blade Storm. Pluto off screen gets a kill on Tim the Tap Man, uh, but that is going to be traded out instantly, making this into a 3v3. Bear in mind, though, Shazam inside of the dark cover, right at that connector on the seaside, does not get tagged with those nades, so they are just going to leave this alone. They're not going to push it, and they're going to make their way down towards Sea Long. And they'll just continue to have vision around that. And I think the turret might have gotten something there. But either way, here we go. Dangerous three-person hide to put everyone long. They're going to hear each of those guns differently. So they know three are long. Someone's going to have to push through. That's Autumn first. Wardell, Shazam make quick work of their opponents. And the push through happens. Oh. Wardell takes to the sky. Oh. Daggers out. Oh, but it's Shazam who was behind him. There's just not enough time after all of that outbreak and now it's a attacker win round really good job by delta so far to just keep shutting strikers down but that's a big round for strikers to be able to get that much money out of the hands of delta that was a bit of a wild round there man and and you're right mm -hmm. public you freak. want to hold at least one player on that site because it can get really dangerous i mean look at the exchange that they had here right if it wasn't <laughs> you know don't get me wrong i wardell did enough pulled the attention away like they kept the the, the lane yeah. and the angle uh, held down so if they did try to charge c long they had no choice they had to contest them there were too many guns all right well now we're gonna get some oh Ooh, we got that we got that that's I, sick. The Bucky skin is nice man oh yeah, well it's nice but he's Ooh. dead so, unfortunately i just feel like you should just make a jetson sound like oh yeah when you shoot it wardell mo taking a few out Looks like they're going to be in the site. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. It was hot on the shotguns for 
strikers this round, but they cannot seem to close the distance on any angles, and their clue with the shorty cannot make much happen. What was the, uh, I'm trying to find it. What was the name of this uh, skin bundle? The uh, Neuroblaster, I believe it is, or the Gravitational Uranium Neuroblaster. Oh, it's called Gun. That's funny. I feel like I just need to hear Marvin the Martian say it. <laughs> oh, I got you. Mm, gravitational Uranium Neuroblaster skins. Mm. I love it. <laughs> the plutonium P34 modulator. Like a cross between Marvin and Kermit <laughs> the Frog. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone hates us. <laughs> I know. I know. This is this is why we no, can do it. Because we have the care sheet. Old oh, Wardell answers the garage. Having garage is like having everything. Once they're in the garage, you don't know if they're in your house. It's scary. So much information is going to be gathered here. And they keep doing this. They're punishing them. At some point, they need to make some serious adjustments. And, and I think it really is just going to rest on them bringing their duel oh. out. Oh. He just wanted to go for a hug. That's all he wanted. Uh-oh. Autumn. Oh, over. Oh, wait a minute. No way. Autumn's crazy. Crazy. 16 HP now. Huskers versus Flom. Oh, but Flom, his crosshair wow. to the left. That's huge. Yeah. Big, big win there for Huskers. That is such a big round. Those are the moments that... I was kind of talking about before for Flum. You know, he had down a little bit in HP from having that firefight previously, but in those moments, you see Flum really coming up with the angles, the holds. Huskers, though, we also mentioned him, and he is not being shook by these intense moments. The 1v1s, the 2v1s, getting pushed by three people. Huskers putting some frags on the board for strikers as they pick up round number one for themselves. And I don't really blame uh, Autumn there because, you know, you see someone pop up in front of you like that. And it, you, your, <laughs> your instinct is to just go for it, you know, but the, the smarter kill would have been to eliminate Huskers. Nice play there from Shazam right out the gate. Greek is going to join in with a headshot on Mo. Two big kills for them here. It's actually going to be their... Two top performers in this game. Now, though, it's going to be up to Flom. You catch this guy playing CS all the time. Damn good player. Mm -hmm. Shoe on his head. Does it all the same. Spikes planted default. Shazam. Had a good shot already to take down Wardell. And they're going to try to enter and float in. I don't even have to say anything else because they're faster than I am. Yeah. I was a... <laughs> very dominant retake there they oh had word. immediately when that round ended and they lost mo and wardell you knew that the plan had kind of fallen apart right it's crumbling yeah. in their in their hands and they're trying to grasp at straws and it simply just wasn't going to work there golden boy wasn't it four quick rounds and then we also the first time we saw these yeah, teams it play was. it was for for delta and then strikers started to attack back so we're seeing the same thing different map but they're getting their flow back at the same time here all right well now as we sit here four two delta with the lead currently let's take a listen in with delta and hear how they're going to try and attack here <laughs> I got heaven smoke ready and I got flash as well for sight. Yeah, can you smoke? He tell me when you're ready. Close left. Yeah, you tell me when. Okay, okay. Smoke okay. Me out. Smoke me out. So can heaven now. Over? Flashing left side sight. Yeah, we have it. We have it. Left side, left side. Enemy kill joy. I'm running right away. Can you plant? Plant, 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 plant. Oh fuck, we're not. Never mind. We can't. We're not gonna be able to plant yet. Oh, it's gonna catch him. It's gonna catch her. Yeah. Uh, Push up, push up, behind boss. Wow. One side. Two heaven. Can you ping bomb? Whoever's dead? Whoever's bot? Who is dead ping bomb? Yeah, ping, 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 ping. Mm. He's, they're sick in it. I think so. Oh, they did. Damn. God damn it. Dude. Oh, my bad, bro. I don't know. I was trying to hit it from a different angle, but. Wait, so did we not have our alarm? Did our alarm bot get killed there? Or at the turret on the flame? I think. Oh man, that was a 
That was a pretty interesting listen in there that we just had. Uh, Wardell obviously calling the shots, uh, but there was a, a little bit of a miscommunication now. And I think part of the reason why that he kept saying like plant, plant, plant is because even though that uh, uh, lockdown is up, you can still plant it and then bail out. You have enough time For to sure. be able to do both of those things. But not only did they do the lockdown, they also used the orbital strike. So they just yeah. obliterated them, uh, bully them completely off of the site. Yeah, somebody, somebody in there said not enough time, too, and they kind of hesitated, mm -hmm. and I think it started throwing everything for a loop. Bush is in. Paranoia does just that. Scares Huskers off the map as Flom grabs another kill from his utility, and they are not feeling the last few rounds here on the side of Delta. They want to change what was happening Ooh. and get the wins back in their favor on the attacking side. Nice aggression to Garage to then flip the script. And now go yeah, look at all okay so shazam the does push. get the kill on autumn but that gives them information they think that they're going to be going over towards c now they're gonna to have to play retake again because they oh. went right over to a mo is going to be the one to look out for because he's patrolling over toward the mid should be able to pick up this kill here in a moment's notice but he's also going to be really cautious about the players that are going to be wrapping around the outside here big kill there for mo that was just exactly what they needed. Jake needs to push this. Does manage to pick up a kill of his own. Excuse me. 2v2 now. It's Jake pushes forward here. Blue, though, was caught looking there. Now I'm just going to leave it up to Jake in a 1v2. Jake now full health. Going against some banged up players. Does manage to locate one player. Is it enough? Oh, pulls the crosshair away at the worst possible time. Flom was basically at death's door. And that is the fifth round for the attackers. Yeah. That was really well played by Jake. Wardell was on basically contact, right? Mm -hmm. If they were to see anything, Wardell peaks, but Jake was still able to create the 1v1. So just really nice game sense of closing off angles to give himself a better chance there. And like I said, unfortunately, putting Flom on death's door, but and I, they still let and him I in. I think that Moe's play there was brilliant. Uh, like, he had went right into A. They had already abandoned yeah, the yeah, site, yeah. so that gave them all the information that they needed, which allowed them to freely push. And it's because of the way that they're able to just abuse C, get some utility out of it, make them think that they're going for this, and then they just, they, they can start to game plan around that. I feel like C has just been so successful for them, and that's why you're seeing them bring the Killjoy over here to maybe yep. deter some of that aggression. I'm becoming a Mo fan. I'm pretty sure he has uh, just the W key on there. There are a lot of times when the round starts and we're like, he's he's in the other spawn already. He's somewhere behind the enemy team. Like he's always moving forward. I love it. He unbinded he his SP, here is he'll move. So yeah, <laughs> doesn't move back. He only moves forward. He can only Can't do make sweeping lines. That's all he could do. <laughs> you gotta turn around fully just to strafe out. Looks like they will go towards C. And everybody will see how they do with the five stack towards long C here. Ooh, what a play. Oh, Wardell did here. They're jumping around, so they don't really know anything. There goes the paranoia. It's going to be pretty fat blocking uh, Jake. Jake's going to be playing the angle in the back here, but Mo gets the kill. Wardell on top of the double boxes is going to make Greek punish as he pushes out. But Shazam on the opposite side does manage to get two kills of his own. Trying to level things out here, but Shazam is going to be dangerously weak. Oh, that was a TP. That was a TP over. Oh, oh the double. another one. Ooh. A big opportunity. He also has Blaze out too. This is dangerous. He's 21 HP. One bullet. Make it count. Just needs this the fake one. tap once more. No. No. Oh, 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 oh man what a battle there between flom and shazam flom was doing everything right but the fact that shazam was nearly able to be able to clutch that one up riv ridiculous yeah let's take a listen in with strikers and see where they're at here as we enter round 10. we can push mid here i'm down do you want to smoke window i'm gonna use my knives yeah Okay. Get out of my way. Okay, long one. Long. He usually lurks though, so just be aware. I hear him good. See? Oh, might be here. Might be here. Yeah, yeah, here. Okay, I'm coming, coming. No way, dude. I'll try flanking with you. That's two. Raises back. 
Oh my god. You're gonna be aware of the flank now. Yeah, no. But fuck it. They probably will not Oh! Yeah, I can flash this on once I get close. Yeah, yeah. Just go for kills. I flash hard. Oh my god. Ah, uh, pushing small in range. Oh, good. Let's get five on the board. Greek, I want to. Greek. Yeah. Let's go, baby. Just a dominant C run. Yeah. Whatever they want C, it's like they have the keys. Yeah, and I'm, I'm really trying to think, like, what are some of the things that they could do? And for one, I think just the, the single C hold is not the play, which is what they're doing. They're, they're adjusting and putting yeah. two bodies there. They're also putting a, a Reyna in a Killjoy, which isn't a bad idea either. A little anti-flash to stop them from coming in. Maybe getting a little aggressive. You play around that wall as the Killjoy push it here. But Shazam, he's going to try and open up an opportunity. And that one poke gave him a ton of intel. He saw so many players going in for the push. But Wardell punishes him just as he picks up the kill. And you think that there's a chance here for the defenders. It is going to be the Delta squad continuing to dominate and push and shoot at whoever it is that they want to. And it's because of this man oh. right here, Wardell. Oh, that's rough. Jake versus Wardell, 1v1. He knows exactly where he is and Wardell, four kills in that round, a kill through the structures too. And this just, Wardell doing whatever he wants. Ridiculous. There are just some rounds when he throws all cares in the world out the window and just goes full ham. That was one of them. Usually when he has not, uh, daggers and alt, or I'm sorry, daggers, full armor, and, and an operator in his hand, but uh, nothing that could stop him that round. Those are the rounds you were discussing before when somebody can kind of give confidence to the rest of the team. When somebody on your team is creating that much chaos, that much distraction, everybody's getting there for a shot off on their opponent because they're looking for Wardell, not you. And even, even what we're seeing here too, man, it's awesome because they are really just punishing them like yeah sure you want to try and maybe go in for a uh, push towards c like we'll, we'll just dial it back and, and wrap around yeah. now though they're going to be in a tough spot huskers i don't think huskers was aware that that player was going to be trapped inside of the cubby but essentially like that last round was we have went to c so much we've put so much attention towards c and now we're going to go toward a and now mm -hmm. that we're playing this out i think sam's realizing i just need to make some plays and take some space here. That's a big kill. Almost glitch pops another one. Tim the Tap Man picks up that kill on Shazam as they had a good push and knowledge of the spike. So they can kind of slow it down, but a little too big of a C rotation here means it's going to be the 3v2 retake. Still like to play a power in numbers, and that's the way that Strikers is going to play this one as Delta looks to plant on the A spike site. Delta's got to get this kill, oh. and he manages the land there against Jake. Here comes Orbital Strike now. Doesn't connect with the weakened Wardell. Oh, so smart. So smart. A detain as well as the plant going down. Wardell's still going to be alive. Tim tucked away inside of this corner. Maybe looking for a cheeky little play there, but Tim's got to get this kill. Instead, it's going to be Wardell. Now on a 1v1, and what a shot against Blue. Just the snap. The snap. Switching sides. That was really smart. A heads up play from Tim the Tatman, by the way, because that detain being down and in an angle where you can't easily remove it uh, with the weapons that you have, Riv, means that like you're you're free to do the things that you need to do, especially with Wardell playing Overwatch and, and having your back, you know. <laughs> I don't mean Overwatch is in the game, but just overwatching the angle. I get you. You know, but it, but it is funny in the content. He basically is just hopping around, that is though, true, though. Messing people up. Just jumping around. Just throw, throwing bows. Oh, my word. 20 and 6 and a 9 to 3. You got up to about 28, 29. Last time they had the 13 1, and it was Bind that was Delta's map. I'm sorry, Striker's map, not Haven. This is. Delta's pick, so it's definitely working out for them as they have the attacking side here. And it looks like they'll set themselves up for another C push, but mostly through garage mid. Maybe they just end B. Yeah, this will be a new one for them. They haven't really gone B all that much. Oh, sorry. Well, I apologize. Reset. It's late. Long day. But uh, 
for this particular play here b is not seen or for this 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 particular map b is not seen a lot of activity yeah good save <laughs> autumn Oof. Oof. they're just waiting for the pushes now all the work being done by De strikers just pushing forward and delta's waiting for the frags however delta dangerously low here with their last two members pushing around or i should actually say switched around we just had pistol so i apologize delta's on defense as striker is dangerously low and now they're moving their way towards what could be a but that knowledge now privy inside of delta where Del actually does not challenge it and that slows them down a bit more. Moe's going to be wrapping around the flank. They're going to hear the footsteps huffing and puffing right behind them here. And Wardell can simply just wait this one out. You got no choice there, Blue. What are you going to do? He's just playing the smokes and playing the distraction game. Oh, man. That was great. Little one-tappers feel good. Little boop. 10 to 3. All right, strikers. I want to see it. Let's go. Uh, both of us are rooting for you. In the words of Cobra Kai, <laughs> strike up. first, no mercy. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Watch Cobra Kai, kid. Great show. Is it, it worth it's it? It's, it? It's amazing. If you love Karate Kid, it's amazing. But if, even if you've never seen it before, you're, it's still amazing. You'll still enjoy it. Oh, I have. Oh, I have. We, you and I both have. <laughs> yeah. It's our demographic that they're talking to. <laughs> Dude, this man. Oh, the dance? This man, Riv, has just been ambitious. The, <laughs> the whole <laughs> tournament. It never stops. Mo is just, he's just trying to, he's just trying to get the subs up, you know, and I respect that, Mo. Let's go for it, man. Let him know where to catch Absolutely. that quality content. Blom pushed up in the corner. Ooh, he's about to see Shazam on the other side here, but that's a shorty. Shazam's gonna have the distance he wants. Oh, thought he had the opening, but they all just get taken down. They didn't have anybody going long, and they just look backside immediately. Desperate plays call for desperate measures, but now we have some weapons here for both sides. Let's see what happens as we get into round number 15. And this is a big round two for the defenders. If they manage to get this, it's match or uh, game point, excuse me. Yep. Uh, for game one, this is a best of three. Uh, just a reminder to anyone who may be joining in and wondering uh, what the format is. We're doing best of ones all the way up until this point, and uh, now it is uh, best of three. So our next map after this will be Bind. Out of the gate, Wardell. Gonna play a little instant aggression. Shazam and Plu, though, are able to exchange for some kills. And that will give them a fighting chance here in this game. Maybe come back around. Mo needs to be careful, though. Actually gets hit from a distance by that nano swarm tagged up and then jake just needs to land a few more shots to clean it up it's so hard to hear those things when they're flying through the air yeah. man we've seen it happen a bunch of times today shazam's there to pick up the flam rotation and don't count them out it it looks grim but you switch over to attacking side of haven and you have the right to put your numbers anywhere and that's what they're doing. They're able to find a few picks, the flood of sight, and get the wins. That was a big one coming into the first gun round here, Golden Boy. And if they can keep this up and build a bit of bank, they are very well on their way to bring this to a tie game. Very true. You'll also notice in that last round, uh, the defending team, Team Delta, they held on to their weapons uh, from the previous. There's no real reason for them mm -hmm. to try and upgrade, right? The advantage in that instance was going to be for the attacking team. Still no op as the price is going to be quite substantial. And look at this, man. Look at the way that Mo, he just pushes. He doesn't he, he doesn't have any care in the world. Wait. Now he knows someone's there. Yeah. He definitely knows someone's there. There's no reason for him to push this. Let's just wait it out. Watch, you're going to see Mo get a kill. Oh, no. Never mind. Leaves Jake there. Jake is so weak, too. Jake's finally like, I can get out. I can get out. Yep. And oh my word, just this. shots everywhere. Oh no, this isn't good. It's Jake and Shazam, and Shazam's dead. And it's a person who had six HP at the start of the round. All the humanity, just one shot was needed. The clean shots from Mo. Uh, 
I love how Jake gets in these situations. He added on bind where he's like, I can't, I have bomb. I can't, I can't cross. I have bomb. It's just hands like, use a blast pack. It's like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There again, he's like, damn it, I'm at six health. I gotta, I can't get to you guys. Someone's right here. He just keeps getting caught in these situations, unfortunately. And that was a tough one too, because Mo was just committed to that angle. And then once like the call came through, like they yeah. knew exactly where he was and that he has not moved. So as, as soon as they get more information on where everyone is, like Jake becomes pointless. Ooh, my goodness, Mo. We got Cutco sales going on here, double knives. Mo is ridiculous, man. This is it, match point, and it's gonna be on an eco. Autumn's pushing this one up no care watch out for shazam though with the sheriff he's still oh. going to be a problem one taps that's two players down now 3v3 even though it's an eco shazam with a sheriff is a problem Bye. see oh that was a, that was filthy what a shot oh my god oh no tim's got two hp if he gets one kill out of this that'll be wonderful come on tim what he got one kill. That's all he needed to do. Now it's going to be left up to Wardell. He's feeling good. That's a few subs for him for oh, sure. Okay. Uh, <laughs> chat's going wild. 35 seconds left on that. It'll be reset by the timer of the spike going down. And now it's all up to Wardle Wardle. That's beautiful. Do do? That's intel. That's intel. Oh. Get one kill. Now he knows where the last player is going to be. But he has... Oh, and then that firewall gives him everything... All the information too. You could just wait this one out. Make Husker sweat. And he can't go long because that spike is going to be tucked away in the corner here. Oh, but Huskers gets the better of Wardell. The double take. You saw Wardell see the shoulder and he was like, wait, that's a regular. That's not a straight line. Boom. Just a second too late to consider it. 5 to 12 back against the wall here. And uh, I mean, if, if strikers can get through this, I think they can get through anything. True. Building that story for the, the heroes here. See if they can do it. Well, the heroes are eliminated, Ruth. Damn it. <laughs> Forgot I was casting with another boom. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Still match point for the uh, Delta squad. Autumn, though, looking to Ooh. make first contact. We'll end up paying for that one. Wardell getting a kill off of the cross. That was Clue. So no Sky Smokes for them. That's a, that's a really hurtful kill because they're going to need to just rely on this, on this lockdown to take site control, which yeah. is the reason why you're going to see them continue to push forward here. Decent lockdown. How far can they get in? Wardell's gonna be low on this one, but he still brings out the daggers. Wants full potential from this to see if he can get anybody coming close. I guess that's the best spot to hide if you want to get your close angle. From Four v three on this take, and they're starting to pinch in from all sides. Wardell's first. Yeah, that's all they needed to do. Pinch them, put pressure, force them back. Now they don't have any choices. Oh, Ward. <laughs> Wait, this actually might fall apart here. Jake, no, it's Mo. Mo is still alive and he yeah. is reliable. That is going to be the game. Haven goes to the Delta squad. Boom. They'll take game number one and go up in this grand final best of three. One heck of a game as well. Putting a bit more of a statement on this one. We'll see if Bind does fare better here for the side. I was going to say Sentinels for Strikers as we move on to our second in this best of three. Yeah. Pretty good. Uh, overall, I would say it was a, uh, you know, like I think uh, nothing out of the ordinary given that these two teams had already encountered each other before.